Hi guys, it's Paul Bowen again, bringing you some more videos on her, her loss, wigs, her systems, whatever we want to call it. So on today's show, I'm going to be introducing you to a guy that I think is smashing the current YouTube. He's over in America. He got in touch with me. We did a Zoom call. I've got it here for you guys to have a look and see. It's with none other than Jake Kent. Guys, check it out. So guys, I'm here with none other than Jake Kent from YouTube. If you've not already, go and check out his YouTube. This guy is just on a different level to me. He's so much more techier. Um, he's just done the research incredibly. Jake, it's a pleasure to talk to you. How are you doing, man? Dude, I feel pumped up now. You just told me I'm techie. I, I don't know if I imagined. I think I heard the word sexy in there, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you want to slip that in there, to you <laughs> flip that in. To, no, mate, like I say, we've, we've both got together, um, you know, really wanting to help lads out. And it was a good idea you got in touch with me. And it, someone else had mentioned as well, getting in touch, like one of the guys watching. And I thought, this is a great idea. I love the fact that you reached out. Um, and I'm, yeah, like really glad that you've uh, agreed to do this. So I'm just going to go and ask you a few questions. As all my YouTubes, like, they're quite short and sweet. Um, mainly because my editing skills are a lot less than yours. <laughs> um, so first off, what, mate, my first question to you is like, how long was your journey from say like, I'm losing my first bit of hair to getting a hair system? How, how long is that journey would people expect? Gosh, man, that's, that's probably like six to seven years, really. Uh, I started losing my hair. The first time someone ever told me that I was losing my hair, I had gone rock climbing in Europe for two months. I just took this two month trip and I went to like uh, the Czech Republic, Germany, Austria, Italy, France, Spain. And I came back at the end of the two weeks. My friend Patrick, I'll remember it. We were in my house. We had like a little mini party and uh, I was sitting down and he looks at me while he was standing up. And he's just like, hey, it looks like you're uh, you're thinning a little bit up there. And I was like, what? It's grim, isn't it? Yeah. And I, to be honest with you, I was in complete denial and I just like shoved it out of my brain. I was like, no, there's, there's no way that I'm losing hair like 100% now. And, um, you know, for the next like two or three years, I didn't acknowledge it or even really like think about it. I, Cause like losing hair, I've been afraid of losing my hair since I was young. My brother used to make fun of me because we have a different dad. My dad's bald. And he's like, you're going to lose your hair when you're like 15. And turns out he's 10 years older than me. So when I was 15, he was 25. He actually lost his hair at 25, but it like went in like a season. Like, oh God, there was like no, in like no three gradual. months. No, no, not gradual whatsoever. It was like, I saw this dude, I saw my stepbrother uh, or half brother, I should say. And then three months later, like he went from being like the best hair in the world to just zero hair, like completely gone. Um, so anyways, for those first couple of years, I really didn't acknowledge it or address it or anything like that. And when I was about 24, 25, uh, I tried, I tried Rogaine and I thought um, I had this really bad allergic reaction. Do you know the movie Hitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know the scene where he has like an allergic reaction to shellfish and his face just goes like <laughs> No, so, tell me that did, you, did that to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I woke up after using it for three days and I just woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh God. I was just like my whole half of my face was just like blown out. Like it was huge. That's um, funny, mate. What, what's funny is I've also done that. Do you know what I mean? Huh? It's, like, it's like a clinger on her, isn't it? I would say the regain. I, I don't know, man. It was really strange. Um, and uh, so, I mean, after that, I was like, okay, there's nothing for me that's going to work. I'm going to get a hair transplant when all my debt is paid off, which took me to like 26, 27 and uh, made a last second decision not to get a hair transplant. I heard the voice of God or something that said, don't go to Turkey. I had my flight booked um, and I decided to cancel it. And um, about a month later, I found hair systems and, you know, here we are little sidebar before we get into it so uh i tried rogaine shortly like um later on in this journey yeah and i was fine so here's my theory about why my face blew up i had made fermented like kimchi <laughs> at home at the same period as i took rogaine and i think i messed up fermenting it and i think yeah. like bacteria yeah, just like <laughs> rogaine it's just the fact that yeah <laughs> yeah i just had bacteria in my face or something Ted. 
I don't know, like, like myself, I recall a very strong tipping point. Like a tipping point that just went, I'm, I'm booking my hair system, I'm doing that now, I am getting my hair. Now, there's a specific moment that seems to happen when I've spoken to lads. Do you have a specific sort of like time where you was like, this is the day, or yeah. something happened to you and you're like, this is it now? Yeah, uh, you know, I I was in class with uh, with Susie Q, and she was looking so good, and she asked me out on a date, and uh, I went to go kiss her, and she pulled down my pants. I said, never again. No. Um, <laughs> uh, really, like, so what it is, and I, I know that was a long story at the beginning, but you know, I like the hair transplant. I thought, you know, at like 27 was like my my saving grace. I. I made this deal to myself. I was going to pay off like $60,000 in debt and I was going to go get a hair transplant after. And I, I paid off the debt and I went to go do it. And I heard this voice that said no. And I was, I listened to it. I was really discouraged and depressed because I felt like, I don't know. I just felt like I, there was no hope. But that, that next month I was just, I was perusing the web and I was like, man, do I give like Rogaine another try or blah, 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 blah. blah. And I saw this video. Uh, it was a filled air video. And you know, I had been, I had seen like four years prior, uh, an advertisement from Quiff & Co, which yeah, is like yeah, the, the yeah, first the company cool. that probably like marketed this stuff well for a short period of time. God knows where they are. Um, but I, I saw it basically the same thing and I was like, oh my God, like maybe I could give this a try. I hear, I remember it was like super expensive. It was like $3,000 a unit back then. But I was like, maybe I can just look into it. So I did and I started researching it and after that, I was like, I'm, I'm going all in. I made the decision that week, like in two days, I, uh, I found it. Just, I found who I was going to go to. And I was like, that's it. I'm doing this. There is, I think there is just a, a moment where you're just like, yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like jumping off a cliff or doing something dangerous. There's just one moment and you go, boom, isn't that thing? Yeah. So I was going to say like, obviously, um, I think we kind of started off the YouTube at a similar-ish time. I think it was a little bit before me. What kind of pushed you to to start your youtube what what kind of brought you on and sort or like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start a youtube channel what what was your idea behind that yeah man that's a great question um i just wanted to make a lot of money no <laughs> um <laughs> same I'm, it just keeps coming out of the computer at me <laughs> yeah i mean it's just like you make a youtube video and money print out, prints out or something people are probably watching this and they're like oh my god really <laughs> no i <laughs> i haven't made a dollar off of my youtube videos or anything like that so um at least like ad revenue. But anyways, the uh, why I started doing it, right, is like, so that whole process of, I, I knew I was gonna go do it, and immediately after I got it done, like I remember sitting in the chair, seeing myself for the first time. And um, I had I had another one of those kind of like, whether it's God moments or the universe or spirit or something speaking to me, maybe my own internal voice, but you know, there, I, there was really only at that point, um, really Curtis, you know, MHE that was putting videos out and, and no, no, uh, disrespect to him, but he, he's a little bit older, you know, he's yeah, yeah, I yeah. thinking late thirties, early forties, somewhere there. And he has helped so many people. Yeah. He's still got great content, hasn't he? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A hundred percent. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate what he has done for me and for others, but I, I had this moment that something said to me, I needed to be the voice for, um, specifically younger people that were looking into this but this voice told me that i was going to destigmatize hair loss because of how much pain i had been through my entire life and searching for like years and years and really feeling like i wasted my 20s uh and and i had a, I, I had an opportunity here that if i was willing to be vulnerable enough if i was willing to be honest enough and i was willing to put all of this deep dark dirty crap that no one wants to talk about out for everyone to see one i would be liberated from my own insecurity but number two and more importantly others would be yeah 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 for sure mate that's good like and it's funny which kind of leads me on to my next question um like like me i'm assuming you get a lot of messages and it's sort of like you you'll appreciate it. Like you said, how many people there are, you've got to agree, haven't you? That there just is so many and it ranges from, you know, literally like, Hey mate, I've got her loss. Can you help me out to like, this is really ruining my life. 
and I think you've just got to agree on that and, and just sort of I, I think I think when people ask they think that they're the only ones but mate how many messages do you get do you get a lot hundreds hundreds I yeah. mean it's it's uh it's wild it to me it actually you know there's moments where I get overwhelmed but to me it validates the need for uh, one this content but people that are that are in it like you and I that um, also are entrepreneurial because I know that you have a business I, I'm an entrepreneur I started my own business but like people that are in the thick of it people that know what it's like to be at the very bottom of this like experience the end customer kind of journey but also acquiring knowledge and you know some some brand if you want to call it like I think that's really really important for for this industry to progress and to evolve yeah. so uh, you know that's that's my hope and, and my my future is is to to continue you know helping destigmatize hair loss in the future and I, I have a pretty wild and audacious goal attached to that but <laughs> do we find out what a goal is oh man I I was wondering if you're gonna ask like just I, I tease that ever so gently for you. Um, I do. Yeah, yeah, all right. Just, uh, yeah, so this is the first time I've actually said it on YouTube. I haven't said it on my own channel or anything. So you have the exclusive right here. Um, in five years from now, no later than five years, I should say, I want to uh, be on the cover of GQ magazine. And I just want to say destigmatizing hair loss. And I want it to be completely about hair systems and what we as a community have done for men that uh, for a large part of their life have either felt unattractive or um, or just like they couldn't be who they really wanted to be. Yeah, yeah, mate, that so. is absolutely sick. Um, like that is a big, and I think it's possible. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It, it, there, be so, there is so many people that just reach out because we're in the limelight and putting it out there. Um, one question going from one high to one low i always like i always like to bring in one negative people have got an obsession with a negative with a hair system what would you say is the most negative thing about a hair system for you what would you say is the worst thing for you about the hair system i love that question so much i think that's such an important question to ask because um people are looking for it right yeah yeah and like I want to be honest with people. I want I want them to see what the real experience is, and and some of it's really great. And you know I, I think that some things you you have to like learn or deal with. Um, so let me. Um, you're gonna have to go back and edit this because I'm gonna take 30 seconds to think about this. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Uh, so these answers are, are going to be somewhat cheesy and yeah. and cliche, but uh, they're very true, and I'm not making it up. Uh, number one, the worst thing about a hair system is that I didn't do it way earlier. Like knowing what I, uh, where I am now and how I feel, if I could go back and I had those really like six to eight years back, man. Yeah, I, mate, that is absolutely crazy that you say that. That, yeah. that brings it to me. I've never thought that. That is 100%. I've never mentioned it. Yeah, go on. Sorry, man. So true. No, it's, yeah. And I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm just trying to sell it, but like, when you asked me that question, I sat here and thought for 30 seconds. And that's the first thing that like, it kept speaking to me um, that like, you know, there, there are these like small, maybe uh, things that, that you have to do or learn and skills. But man, like if, if I could go back, like I'm actually getting like a little uh, emotional yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, no, but, I, I um, can feel it too. Do you know what I mean? It's the same feelings. Yeah. If, if I could go back, man, I, I really would like, because I, I suffered for so long in complete silence completely alone not thinking that there was really you know that like that was my sentence to life and that i i had to go on and and i can't tell you how many nights i i was so insecure about my hair that i walked away from like you know uh like salsa dancing i, I salsa dance and like walking away and feeling like i just if i um had my hair that you know like i could have gone and been uh, a little bit more charismatic yeah, yeah, with sure. the woman that I wanted to talk to or but like there's so many of those nights there's so many of those moments in coffee shops and and even in business and and in every aspect of my life that I shrunk back because of something and I consider myself a confident person but I still shrunk back and, and like those moments are 
I think that this is probably the most important thing that someone can pick up from this video is like, you're probably, and I'm speaking to the audience right now, you're probably considering how much it's gonna cost for a hair system. Have you ever considered how much you're losing an opportunity because you're shrinking back or you're not being your best self? You're not reinvesting into yourself? Like what, whether it's investing in your like professional education or uh, you know, being around the right people and like maybe, you know, going to a more expensive bar or club or something or a hair system and making yourself feel the best that you can. You are literally missing opportunities to be your best self and putting yourself in the right situations. And that's what happened to me. And nice. that's why I say if I could go back six years ago, I would I would 100 percent take I, I would do it all over again. Like just to go off your one there as well, just to go on a tangent with what you're saying about you know, I remember a day where I'd, I'd buy a new shirt for like a hundred pounds, like crazy amount of money for a shirt because I thought, well, they'll see me shirt. They won't see me. Do you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. you're trying to cover up your hair with a shirt, your bald with a shirt. <laughs> Guess what? It better like, be a big, big shirt to do that. Yeah. yeah do you know what I mean? But like, do you know what I mean? You would buy dear, a dear shirt or you'd buy materialist, but you wouldn't spend it on your set. You know what I mean? There'd be yeah. so many shirts and, you know, nights out that if you just, took that away and had you hair, you would feel so much better. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just no, crazy. I really do. I really do. You know, there's like, um, I, and this is something else I've never, I've shared, man, most of the stuff I've said here, I've never shared with anyone on, on YouTube or even on my own channel, but like, uh, back in 2018. So like two years ago, you know, I was, I was dating this person. I thought like I was going to get married to, and like, I was so in love with them and out of the blue, they, um, very disrespectfully send me a text message saying like it was over. Like I had been dating this person for a while, but I just remember like, and this is my own insecurity and I recognize it and stuff. And uh, I, I was in a lot of pain, I, but like I transmuted a ton of that pain back into my insecurity with hair of like, I wasn't attractive enough or that, um, yeah. And, and I just, I look back at that and I, th I think about like how much I, how much I like beat myself up over this one thing. And, and like every aspect of my life, I almost like pummeled back into my hair loss, whether, and most of it's completely nonsensical. It's not rational at all, but it was just a purely emotional thing. Um, man, that was like I said, that, 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 that was crazy that, you know what I mean? It's, it's just so, I can just relate to it all. Do you know what I mean? And there'll be, there'll be guys that are doing exactly the same. Finally, mate, with every negative comes a positive. What would you say is the best thing? We'll keep it short and sweet because it's saying my disk drive is nearly full. <laughs> um, hit me with some positive. What would you say is the positive thing about wearing a hair system? Uh, probably the most positive thing is, I mean, there's a million positive things, but like the, th the thing for me is, is it's the antithesis to what I just said, right? Like I wish I could do it sooner. And the reason I love it now and the best thing about it is because it's been such a massive transformation. All the personal development work that I do, uh, like, you know, from reading the right books, from re like listening to the podcast, from growing a business, like all the personal growth that I've done. It'll, like now that I, I, I like look retrospectively at it, I'm like, man, um, this was a version of all that personal development for me to do to my, my physical appearance. And I I've waited so long. And now I'm like, part of my exterior matches my interior, all this work I've done. And like, I've allowed myself to love myself externally, like my external more. And it's, it just, I just feel so much more, uh, integrated, if that makes sense. Like, I don't feel like I'm this amazing person inside on the outside. I'm like, eh. I'm like, no inside and out like jake kent is a badass and <laughs> like he's super cool in every facet of who he is and that's that's the best feeling that's the best part about it is like i walk down the street and like bruno mars like uptown funk is playing i don't know who's playing it all the time but i'm just like down the street and i'm just like, <laughs> you know so mate that is absolutely crazy like you know what I really do hope that we both make a lot of money out of YouTube and we can meet up, fly together, make some actual real life content. And um, you've been so good, mate. Just again, just it's just like you're exactly the same, but a different way round. You know what I mean? I think everyone is, is in the same boat. I really appreciate you taking the time. And uh, man, it's been really good to chat to you. Absolutely, man. I uh, thank you for having me on the channel and all of your viewers. Thanks for watching this whole thing. Cheers, man. Later.
So guys, that was my chat with Jake Ken. I hope you enjoyed it. Just one more question, Jake. What do you think about my pies? Really, the only word for it is... So guys, that was my interview with Jake Ken. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'd love you to comment on this and let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you're new, please subscribe or go and subscribe to Jake's as well. Um, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next week.